Hey everyone, Time Rider here, coming to you an hour away from the western front of the Battle for Minneapolis, otherwise known as the Upper Mississippi Shakedown. This is a Hot Wheels Whip Creamer, and I've been trying to figure out since I got it what the heck it's all about. Introduced in 1970 or 1972, based upon who you believe, there is one indisputable fact. It was only produced for a single year. And I also found an assertion that the casting was based upon the 1973 AMC Gremlin. And if I squint real hard, I still can't see it. Anyway, I'm going to restore this one. So stick around. <laughs>
So let me start by saying that I got this uh, casting from George over at uh, Hodges Hot Wheels and Die Cast. And it got some new shoes. I try, I thought that old one was magenta, so that's the color that I used. And I looked high and low for one of those little impellers, and then it finally dawned on me one day that uh, they actually made a whipped cream or two. And I got one of those for like a buck ninety nine, and uh, sure enough, the impeller seems to fit just right. And uh, stick around for a copy of the episode of the bench if you like that kind of thing. There you have it, the uh, Hot Wheels whipped creamer. This is Time Writer. I'll leave the light on for you. Thanks for sticking around for this episode of The Bench. I'm hard at work on my rattle can Dodge van. I've had a few builders pick this casting up so they can join us in this 4th of July Celebrate America Rattle Can Rumble. If you're interested in joining us or I've forgotten your name in this list, please shoot me an email, timerider2000 at gmail.com. I was thinking that this Monteverde High was not going to be a candidate for Spectre Flame without an undercoat, but I'm beginning to think that this will work out. I lost some casting detail, but I think once the paint is on, it's going to look beautiful. I also started my last two Three Blind Mice 50s builds. I'll be putting up four castings on the 13th. It's not too late to join us. Just pick up a casting, anything from the 50s, from anything, anywhere in the world, and uh, we're releasing on the 13th. No, I generally stay away from political testimonials, but what is happening in a town I have lived in my whole life, well, I find it embarrassing and enraging. I'm outraged at what one police officer did to another human being, irrespective of what color he was, and I believe this officer belongs in prison. I initially thought that they, if they had arrested and jailed these officers right off the bat, these riots would not have happened. But now I believe that those who have practiced this lawlessness are not trying to honor George Floyd. They're trying to exploit a population already struggling with a quarantine that was pretty crippling to them. And I'm embarrassed because we have elected officials who get on the TV and promise they will gain control and then night after night, these riots continue as a direct result of their ineptitude. Minneapolis will become an armed camp tonight. One foot in the door of martial law. We'll be lucky if no one is killed. That said, I hope my video finds you healthy, happy, and wise. <laughs>